Sewing an Invisible Zipper Placket An invisible zipper is a special zipper which, when stitched to a garment, will get hidden in the seam. One would be able to see only the pull of the zipper. Learning to stitch the invisible zipper will help you while making decorative garments. Objective At the end of this class, you will be able to Stitch an invisible zipper placket. Let us first familiarize with the tools and materials that you would need to stitch an invisible zipper placket. You would need cotton fabric, pattern square, tailor's chalk, straight pins, shears, a pair of small scissors, Contrasting thread, hand sewing needle, invisible zipper, iron box, sewing machine, measuring tape, and a zipper foot. Now let's watch how to stitch an invisible zipper placket on a sample fabric piece. Step 1. Measure, mark, and cut out the required sample fabric pieces. Measure and mark 10 inches by 6 inches squares on a double layer of cotton fabric with the help of a pattern square, measuring tape, and a tailor's chalk. Using the shears, cut the marked square. For sewing this zipper, it is helpful to uncurl those coils and press the zipper flat. This lets you stitch a bit closer to the coils. Step 2. Position and pin zipper to fabric. Put the square pieces right side up, facing you. Place the zipper face down on the fabric. Use a measuring tape to make sure the zipper coil lines up with the seam allowance. We are using 1 inch seam allowance. Pin the zipper to the fabric. Place the straight pins parallel to the zipper. Step 3. Install the zipper foot. Remove the regular foot on the sewing machine and replace it with the zipper foot. Step 4. Stitch pin zipper. Lower the foot down onto the zipper. Make sure that the zipper foot is close to the zipper coils. Stitch the pin zipper and secure the stitch with the reverse stitch. Sew slowly, removing the straight pins before they reach the foot. Stop when you reach the end of the zipper. End with reverse stitch and snip the threads. Step 5. Pin zipper to the second side. For the opposite side, pin the zipper to the second side. Again, make sure that the right side of the fabric is facing up. Close the zipper to make sure that you have pinned it correctly. This part can easily get twisted, so it's best to double check before you do any sewing. Once you've checked, unzip it before sewing.
Step 6. Install the zipper foot on the other groove. Remove and install the zipper foot into the other groove. Step 7. Stitch the zipper to fabric. Sew the zipper as you did the other side. This time also make sure that the zipper foot is close to the zipper coils. Now pull the zipper close. Sandwich the zipper in the seam allowance and pin carefully down the rest of the seam. Zipper tail should be out of the way, otherwise it will get caught in the stitches you are about to make. Step 8. Install the zipper foot into the other groove. Remove and install the zipper foot into the other groove. Step 9. Stitch the remaining seam. Place the zipper to the right of the foot, starting about one quarter inch or so above the end of the zipper, slowly stitch forward, then do a small back stitch. The zipper adds bulk right here and will try to pull away from the needle. Instead of forcing the needle to be right next to the zipper, just stitch slowly as close to the zipper as you can. Sew down the rest of the seam. Snip the threads. Step 10. Iron the zipper. There is a small gap between the zipper stitch and the seam line. That is fine and not visible from the right side of the sample. Press the invisible zipper from the right side of the sample. With that, we come to the end of this class. Let's recall what we have learned. You have learned how to stitch an invisible zipper placket. Let's review its basic steps. Step 1. Measure, mark and cut out the required sample fabric pieces. Step 2. Position and pin zipper to fabric. Step 3. Install the zipper foot. Step 4. Stitch pin zipper. Step 5. Pin zipper to the second side. Step 6. Install the zipper foot into the other groove. Step 7. Stitch zipper to fabric. Step 8. Install the zipper foot into the other groove. Step 9. Stitch the remaining seam. Step 10. Iron the zipper. You have now learned how to stitch an invisible zipper placket. Take our next class to learn how to stitch a lapped zipper placket.